Hello there. Welcome to Ask Sue London. This is the show that helps people and pets cope, heal, and move forward. I am your host, Sue London. Today, we've got an amazing show. But before I bring our guest on, I want to tell you about a couple events that I've got coming up for you. So if you're new to the show, I do on the second and the fourth Tuesday of every month, Ask Sue London live events. These are different topics each uh, week, and they are a, a lesson, and then you get to ask questions in the second half of that. So you can see those details at AskSueLondon.com website. Check that out. And I also want to invite you to go to my homepage again. And in the events area, I want you to take notice. I have an, a live event happening on Monday, March the 11th at 4 p.m. Eastern time. That's on Happy Fies. And so there I will be talking about the topic of connecting with your pets. So there's going to be lots of hidden gems in there that you'll be able to learn how to connect with your pets on the other side, what your pet's trying to tell you here, and so much more. So visit those areas. And uh, again, that's at AskSueLondon.com. Now, I um, have this amazing guest on today. And Karen Black is her name. Karen, welcome to the show, first of all, because I am going to brag about you a lot. So instead of you sitting there, (laughs) everyone's wondering who is she? So Karen Black is my miracle maker, my guru, my best friend, my hero. I love this lady. She's my official pet photographer. Now, she is the lady that is working miracles with me and you know got rid of some of the lines right the joy of editing and made my husband look skinnier and toned and got buddy our puppy to sit still now karen you have worked magic with all our stuff all our pictures all everything that we wore you helped me pick out the right clothes and i want everyone to know that uh when you're seeing this on youtube on the community area i'm posting the pictures so you can see what karen did when you can see in the pictures we had a lot of fun now karen the first thing that i want to ask you is tell everybody what it was like working with the londons was it like a a lot of fun (laughs) there was a lot of energy in the room it was really great well, and, and like, I'm, uh, um, I'm kind of watching what I say here for my husband's sake, because we were really like, you know, saying, okay, get my thin side. Okay. Oh, you know, my top's down too low or put it like Ross wanted a dog in front of him. Cause his shirt, it was a little tight from what he was eating. You worked absolute magic with these pictures. And the big thing that blows Ross's and my mind is that you got our puppy buddy to sit still. Mm. Oh, what's your secret? Tell everybody how you made the famous buddy sit still. (laughs) Well, I find that if you make a very subtle noise or, well, it really depends on the dog, but in buddy's case, it had to be a bit subtle because he was like, what? (laughs) <laughs> as soon as you would hear it um yeah. yeah you just make a quick noise and you have to be ready to take the picture right after that because you're going to get their attention but it won't necessarily be for long well and, and it was amazing like every time you did that and now what's happening every time like i mean buddy's been really crazy with wanting to be in all our videos as, as many of you are following my shorts you'll see buddy on there But now every time we're taking a picture, he's insistent on being in the pictures since we've been with you. He loves to pose for not only videos, but photography pictures now too. So he did a great (laughs) job. And I want, I want everyone to know that if you are looking for a pet photographer, this is the girl you want. And, and I have to say, Karen, I have to tell everyone how great you are because I found you're very professional. You are very um, good with details in the way, like, let's look at what you're wearing because I know the colors that make my eyes, you know, pop with blue and stuff like that. But there's not a lot of people know that where you where you have that conversation with your client, which I appreciate and people don't know how much Karen can help you with that. So you helped with that. You, you, you know, we had the deadline. If you're new to my show, the reason why these pictures were being taken was that I had recently received the 
a lifetime achievement award for all the work that I do helping pet owners and pets. And uh, as a result, the my dogs, Marley and Buddy, are being featured on the cover of a magazine. And then there's a four to six page spread article being done on us. So I needed new pictures because I think the last time my pictures were taken were like 11 years ago. So I said to Ross that, you know, find that right photographer. I know you can do that. My schedule was really busy and we're trying to, you know, do kind of multitask on everything we both had to do. And right away, Ross put in pet photographer and Karen came up first. And we knew as soon as we saw the pitch, saw your website, I think I told you the story, right, Karen, that, you know, we both knew this is our photographer. It was a no brainer. She's so, so good at what she does. I wish I could bring pictures up to show you on here. But um, so if you are looking to work with somebody, this is the girl. Now, I want to ask you before we get into taking the perfect pet photos that you're going to tell everyone, mm. if someone wants to work with you, tell them how they are going to go about doing the process. Sure. Like, do you want um, them to email I you? Usually um, usually I think that if people go to my website and check it out and just sort of get a sense for what I do, because I try and make it really transparent, you know, how I like to work and everything. So mm -hmm. after you've been to my website, if you, you can book a call with me by clicking a button on my website, or you can send me an email or you can pick up the phone and just give me a shout. I love and, talking and the to people. Oh my gosh. We had so much fun. I cannot tell everybody how much fun you'll have with this girl. Now let's tell everyone your website. It's indigopetphotography.com, right? Yes, exactly. And thank you. So check, check that out. Now we are going to talk about the miracle maker here, ladies and gentlemen is here with us. And I don't know about any of you watching this, but do you have a spouse that you're hoping to capture the perfect picture and then they cut your head off? or they leave out a member of your family, like maybe half your dog or something. Now, Karen, you know who I'm talking about and, and he knows who I'm talking about. I love my husband dearly, but a lot of times he takes pictures, he's cutting off half my head or, you know, he's leaving out part of the dog and, you know, we're trying to get pictures for something special, right? What's the secret of taking pictures for just the, the regular person who wants to have a nice picture captured on a day event <laughs> well first of all i can't help you with your spouse you're stuck with the oh. spouse you got <laughs> but um there's there's a handful of different things that you can do uh when you're trying to get a great photo and particularly of a pet you know um i always recommend that uh different perspectives like get down low or put your dog up on something so that you're more eye level and you're sort of seeing the world from their eyes, which is really fun. And um, things like treats and noises and keywords like, do you wanna? Those will help you to get your dog's attention. So if you say to the human, don't bother, you know, trying to tell the dog to look at whoever's taking the picture, like tell them to worry about themselves. And then you taking the picture you're the one who gets the dog's attention. That right. And I, really that was one thing that you said to us, just make sure we be quiet and let you make the sounds. And the whole way to your place, I was saying to Ross, okay, tr just let Karen do her thing. And you just have to be quiet. Cause he was trying to like, he would try and help you out with that and say, but he's oh, yeah. still around. Right. And it was great. And it was a miracle that neither one of us said anything because, you know, we knew that was important for you to do. And, and, and it was crazy. Like you would take a toy and just squeak it. And we just watched Buddy just sit up and yeah. you were saying you have to do it really fast though. Right. You can't, they don't sit that long. You take the picture you... quickly after. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. So, you don't yes. want to overdo it with things like squeakies or anything like that, because then you just lose the dog. So. Okay. So yeah. what you were selling something, I don't, I don't even remember what it was. Was it just paper or something? You had something, was it a toy you had in your hand that was kind of rustling like paper noise? Oh, I I, it was just, just a treat bag. <laughs> you oh, know, okay. Just crinkling. It sounds like it was just pa plastic paper. Plastic. What not? It was some kind of packaging anyway. 
and you, it sounds like a treat bag. So when you're crunching it, they're like, oh, what do you got? <laughs> Well, and, and, you know, that Ross and I, the whole way home, we were talking, how did this girl do this? Like she really captured the dogs. Fantastic. And, you know, you, we, we saw the real side of both of the dogs. Like Marley always poses. He's used to being on pictures. He was no problem, but it was buddy. That was crazy. He just kept wanting the pictures even after we were done. Right. And yeah. the one thing that I took from it was, and if you're watching this, I want to tell you, and Kara, tell me if I've learned this right. So there's a certain way that you have to pose for a picture. And that is leaning forward and tilting your head and smiling, right? Am I, am I, have I got that still? Well, definitely I mean, the, the lean forward from the waist, just a little bit, just to kind of right. bring that more forward. And if you're standing up, a really good tip is always keep your weight on your back leg, bend your front leg and keep the weight on your back leg. Oh, interesting. Okay. And then uh, you because talked that about- minimizes your uh, butt. <laughs> oh, is that, is that right? Okay. And, and what about like the stomachs and like the double chins? Are there any secrets of, about that? Definitely. Lose weight exercise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you just sort of push your forehead- and your chin a little bit forward, it just really helps to minimize this because most people when they want, you know, they want to smile for a photo, right? But they go and they pull back and smile. And then all of a sudden they create this double chin situation. Like so this right now. Yeah. It's just a question of, you know, bringing it out a little bit and then you just smooth that out. Interesting. Now the lighting. I know that we have been doing this wrong all along and tell everyone, I guess there's better times to take it and, and different angles. So tell everybody about lighting. Sure. Um, well, we were in studio, so it was a different situation. But right. when I'm outside, I always try to work within the last couple of hours before the sun going down or the first couple of hours as the sun comes up. And the reason for that is you've got such pretty light. It's very soft and diffuse at that time of day. If you shoot in the middle of the day, you're going to get really harsh shadows and big circles under your eyes and everything. So unless it's cloudy, don't shoot in the middle of the day. <laughs> uh, okay. And you know what? That seems to be the time we always do because we'll go for a drive I mean, we live in Niagara, Ontario, right? Southern Ontario. We are in beautiful country where we have a picnic every weekend mm. and we, you know, we'll drive for a distance, then we'll stop and we'll have either picnic, you know, inside, outside winter all year round. But right. by the time we're going to stop to take these pictures, it's in the afternoon. Right. And so we're looking really tired. So maybe it's been the result of pictures being taken by the photographer who's in our household that <laughs> has made the person look that way. Right. And I'm not saying like I've taken pictures of Ross as well as he's taken pictures of me, but I never thought about that way. I just thought we were looking and starting to look our age. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's all about the light. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's good. I'm going to go with that. Everybody. If I'm not looking good, it's the light. All right. <laughs> And, and you can work around it a little bit by, you know, getting into some shade and, or getting into uh, like the shade that a building casts. So you still okay. got lots of brightness up above, but right. you're not standing in the sun because the sun's just going to not be your friend. And you know what? We have always had me with the boys facing the sun and Ross has the sun behind him and and, That's and they're right. you want the sun I'm, behind you. no the, well they're behind him right yeah yeah you would want the sun behind him in a situation behind. like that what you're missing is something yeah. to bounce light back up into your face yeah. so that right. when like people that, use like a reflector was, right right now so okay let's 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 look at that so what could somebody use as a reflector? Like, is there something regular? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I'm putting you on the spot. Do you have? Do they have to buy a photography reflector, or is there something else? No, you could use, uh, like, have a piece of foam core that's white, and just okay. use that. But play with it a little bit to see where, like, how it is reflecting the light, and if it even is. You just have to make sure that you're getting 
the sun to hit it and go up into your face. To go up. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Now, mm -hmm. is there anything that you would say to someone if they want to get the perfect pet pose and they're at home, you know, friend or loved one is taking the picture. Is there one that is easier for someone to take? Say I wanted a picture with me and say Marley. Like, you, you know, are they better holding the pet? And if I'm putting you on the spot, let me know. I don't no. know, like it's a generic idiot kind of proof picture somebody could take that <laughs> of their pet. Uh, standing you, can, or you could try standing, like photographing down a bit. Towards, okay. not, not like down like that, but okay. just kind of a bit of an angle down. And so like okay. the dog's looking up and you're looking up as well. Okay. Okay. And then you take horse pictures as well. I do. I, I, yeah. Right. So, and they're beautiful pictures. And what is the secret when you take a horse picture? Do you have to make the noises like you do with the dogs? Yes. But the secret, the true secret is having, um, an extra pair of hands. So okay. if I have an assistant, I know everything will go fine. Because with horses, they're very different mm -hmm. than dogs, right? Dogs are predators and horses are prey. So you can't approach them exactly the same way. And right. uh, with horses, you really want their ears to be forward. So right. you need someone to be your attention getter or your ear getter, as we call them. And okay. yeah, so I have different things that I use or have somebody else use to get the ears up and to position the horse. Interesting. Now I know that, you know, we've talked again that Ross and I still talk about this, how it was amazing how you captured Buddy. Like, and we're focusing on Buddy. Marley is always in front of the camera looking perfect. He's right. just so cute. But Buddy we didn't know what to expect with him because we've only had him since September. He was a rescue boy. He's been through an awful lot. He, we didn't know if he was going to be having be car sick in the car because, you know, he, we're still working through the challenges of what he'd been through in his past, but he got, got, we got to Karen's and that was great. And then he seemed to just really like having his picture taken. Wasn't well, he? He we, was also, really we also gave him time to acclimatize. We let him right. come in. He had, you know, free reign to go around and sniff everything and make sure he felt comfortable. So we let right. him get to his comfort zone before we even started. And and I want to add, I'm glad you're saying that because I am always saying to the pet owner that your energy will affect your pet. 100%. And big time, right? So I want everyone hearing this show to hear from my mouth that this woman has absolutely the best energy that you would want around your pet. And I'm very particular who I have my pets around, like who does the grooming, who does their walking and that. So that's why I want to say, you know, on, on to you, Karen, so you know, and others who watch this, your energy is through the roof fantastic. And you are so great with animals. So that's um, something that you want to take in consideration if you're going to have a photographer take your pets pictures, because this is the best. I've got the best here today for you. Now, we are in Niagara region. You're yes. in St. Catharines. I am. And, you know, we're not far from New York border. Mm -hmm. Somebody's watching this. They want to book a session. You do pet the photos are horses and dogs only. Is that correct? I focus on dogs and horses. They're my specialty. Okay. But if it's like with their human, I love that right. because I love to capture the bond. Right. Yeah. And so say someone wants to book with you, what do you want them to do first? How, what's the first step? Like, do you want them to go to your website, phone you? What do you want? Tell them what you want them to do. Yeah, I think uh, going to my website first and taking a look around and seeing, you know, is this the kind of photography that you're looking for? And um, thinking about, you know, what would I want to do with my images afterwards? Like, do I want them big on my wall or do I want, you know, a storybook that we create from the images of the day? So mm -hmm. those kind of things are you don't have to know, but it's nice to start thinking about. And then um, there's 
so many different ways to reach out to me. There's uh, buttons where you can book a phone call on my website. I have a contact form. You can email, you can call. Like I'm really approachable. I would love to talk to people. And I think talking to people about what the whole experience is like, because it's very custom, um, right. is, is the best way to go about it. Well, and I want to add in here, what people don't realize is that Karen goes beyond just taking pictures. She's going to ask you, do you need help with your clothes? And I've, I worked at one point with an image consultant and I know like, this is kind of the colors to wear, like blue is good for me to, for my eyes to really shine blue pop mm -hmm. in that. And you were great to say like, you know, what do you want to wear? What, what is this for? Cause we knew it was for the cover of the magazine. We knew blue was my color. So it's kind of picking the right outfit and that, and this is important as you wanting a picture taken that if you have a photographer like Karen, that's how professional your picture is going to look. She's not only going to make your pet shine, but she's going to make you shine as well and get the right outfit that you want to wear. And like, you know, Ross and I had a picture that we were both in green, but they were different. And mm -hmm. we each had the blue, right? And we were yeah. even thinking of the dogs, right? Our colors we were wearing to match the dogs in that. Right. So there was a lot that went into this, but I cannot emphasize how much, Karen, I have appreciated you taking those pictures and fitting us in so quickly for the pictures. You have got the best energy I've ever known as a pet photographer to have. And you are the best of the best. And nobody should bother with the rest. And I don't want anyone to take that personal. But I'm telling you firsthand experience. You want your pets around somebody who's got phenomenal energy. This is the girl that's got that. Now, Saying this, people are like, I know you're going red. I seem to do that to people. Well, just drink water later, you know. Um, we talked about this, didn't we, before yeah. the show? Um, what if someone's watching this and they're wondering, do you go to them? Do they come to you? How, what do you want to say to that? I guess, is it all individually how far they are? Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, with horses, I tend to go to their barn. Uh, because yeah. it's more difficult, obviously, to move horses and more challenging for the horses men mentally to go through being moved. Um, right. With dogs, I include an hour drive from St. Catharines within my session fee. Um, so I tend to go, like, I'll go as far as Cambridge and um okay. oakville and caledon now, now we have to add in with everyone this is ontario canada she's talking yes about. yes sorry right yeah yeah, yeah. so but i've had people yeah. come to me from chicago and um yeah how far are you from the the border the buffalo new york border oh about gosh. About 30, uh, 30 minutes 30 about 30 minutes yeah because yeah. i know it took us we're right near the border as you know uh yeah. and it took us about 33 minutes to get to you yeah. So, you know, it don't let that distance sway you from, you know, not going to care because we are really close to the border and to different areas. Right. Right. So, and if um, we're doing a location shoot, we can pick up, you know, a suitable spot that'll meet my needs to deliver you the type of images that I know you deserve. Um, right. And also, you know, you won't necessarily have to travel as far. Great. Well, I have to tell you, I think I told you this, Karen, but anyone watching this, I have never smiled so long, so much. And the next day I said, Ross, my cheeks are hurting from um, smiling so much. It was like a wedding all over again. You, it was you are such a smiler. And I, it was so funny because I was kind of like, OK, now, now don't smile. Drop your smile. Drop your smile. Okay, just give me a half smile. You know, <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't we going through range. <laughs> well, and you know, it's funny, like I go through this when I get my passport picture taken or my driver's license. They're like, don't you can't smile. I, and I don't know how not, I don't know how to look when I because I always smile all the time, right? Right. And and the other thing that we talked about was, you know, sitting forward and 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 the next day I said, Oh my gosh, Ross, I, I'm not good. My core, my core is not the best, and I'm feeling that, you know. But yeah, the next day, uh, we we were a little bit tired, and the dogs did they didn't sleep that day. They slept all the next day. Yeah, right. it was the next day that we kind 
kind of just had a pajama day watching movie marathon. That was kind of the tip. That's funny. <laughs> I usually say to people at the end of a session, your dog's probably going to sleep the whole way home. And they're always, <laughs> I get the, you know, like the, what do you call it? The iPhone shot texted yeah, yeah. to me of the dog like, uh. <laughs> yeah exactly right well not not in this time it was the next day it was like like was <laughs> that's like, amazing right and we were like well this is typical buddy right but yeah. uh no it, it was really phenomenal and i want to tell everyone again i am posting these pictures on the i guess it's under the community area of the youtube uh that you'll see them on there and you will start seeing them on my social media as well i'm, I'm in the process of changing that and uh, the cover of the magazine that it comes out the June, May and June edition. And Karen, I will be putting a, a one aside for you too. Oh, thank by you. By the way, <laughs> I get that. Again. So, is there anything else that you want to share with everyone listening? Anything about you know anything that we didn't talk about or that you want to share? Uh, uh, yeah, in, in actually, um, yeah. I just thought of this. Uh, this is actually my tenth anniversary. Um, uh, with Indigo Pet Photography. I started it 10 years ago and it's been an incredible journey um, mm -hmm. in pet photography. But as part of it, I'm going to be doing a photo calendar contest with Pets Alive Niagara. And oh. I'll be releasing information about that in the next few weeks. But okay. um, that's going to hopefully my goal is to raise $10,000 for Pets Alive Niagara. So nice. Nice. Now, so how would they find out about that information? Do would they go to, do you have a newsletter or how? I do have a you... newsletter and you can sign up on my website. Um, you can also uh, follow me on Instagram at Indigo Pet Project or on nice. Facebook. It's Indigo Pet Photography, all one together. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'll be releasing information. First, it'll go through my newsletter, but it's going to go through the other channels as well. Oh, perfect. Well, I, I don't think we are connected on Instagram yet, but we have to do that today. Let's yeah, do I know. it. Yeah, because uh, there's already one of the pictures that you took where I had the bracelet on, uh, the designer of the the uh, family uh, bracelets for your, for your pets. She has taken the image and she's showing that I'm wearing one of her bracelets and that's on her Instagram. Yes. So I want to get you connected so we can, everyone can see our stuff. So yeah, if you're not following me on Instagram, that's Ask Sue London. And so uh, tell everyone again, one more time, your website address is what? Indigopetphotography.com. Perfect. And folks, we've had today here with us, Karen Black, the amazing, incredible uh, official photographer for for Sue and family and I love 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 you so much and it's like you know you feel like you've just had this connection to an old friend that you haven't seen for a while that's what Ross and I feel with you and you know our pets love you and if you're looking for a photographer, this is the one you want, folks. So um, on behalf of my amazing guest, Karen, and myself, Sue London, we both want to wish you much love and many blessings, and I'll see you again real soon.